Yeah, thanks very much, Nick. From one Dave to another, the debutant tonight, Davey Parecki, at the age of 29 years of age, you've done it. We've got your dad, Dorian, here with you as well. Who wants to go first? You, you, you look keen, Dorian. No, 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 we'll, we'll let the man of the moment do it. Take us, no, take us, take us back to kick off. Run us through the moment. You get to sing the anthem and then the closing stages as well. No, I got out here early and um, the crowd hadn't filled out by then. But um, as soon as I came out for the anthem, just the packed crowd was pretty overwhelming. Eh? Like doing your anthem as well um, was just awesome. Like it was just a moment I'll never forget, I think. He's really humble, this guy, as you well know, as his dad. Tell yeah, me a bit humble. about his journey. How did he end up here with a green and gold on his back for number well, two? Uh, Sue, my wife, um, we both um, have said right from the, the, the outset of his career, just keep doing what you're doing. He went over the UK to improve his, his um, uh, skills. Um, <laughs> and we watch every, every game from you know, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning yeah. while he was over in the UK. But he's just persistent and he's just determined. And through all the trials and tribulations that he's had and all the injuries, He's just kept doing what he's doing. He's just determined, steely. Um, we're all so impressed with him. And uh, he's getting the rewards now. He, he so. certainly is. Uh, give us some idea as to some of those setbacks you've had. I know you and I have spoken about it uh, over the years, but just some of the hurdles you've had to overcome in terms of the injury and maybe non-selection from an Australian side as well. Yeah, just um, obviously in the UK, um, as Dave has sort of mentioned before, I sort of had some injury troubles over there. And um, I don't know, just every time I got injured, saw it as like a little bit of a mission to get back better. And then, you know, got, um, you know, called to just come come give this a crack in Australia. And then straight from the outset, um, you know, had an injury. And then obviously last year got so close to this feeling and this moment. And again, just did my calf. So, um, you know, what I, what I was doing wasn't wrong. It's just I had to stay the course. And um, as sort of Dad said, just always say, just keep doing what I'm doing and um, eventually I'll get there. And tonight I probably couldn't think of a better sort of debut for me just against England here with a packed crowd with my family here, my wife watching at home who I'll see next week. And, um, and baby. Yeah. And Bubba, yeah. And, and, the, and, the, and the sausage dog watching and on. The, so, the injured sausage dog watching on. Uh, Dorian, can you just give uh, us all an idea as people who aren't parents of Wallabies, the emotion and how you feel in that moment when you see him throw that jersey on? Well, we couldn't be more proud of, of him. I mean, and as with the other kids, uh, Ollie is twin brother, Annie, um, who both teared up with the national anthem and seeing his seeing their brother you know yeah. singing the national anthem and noticed that he didn't he didn't mime it in song it's just great um, it, it's just it's just an awesome feeling it's yeah. just like it's it's yeah. a, a big red line ruling along r ruling out the, where he was um, through the um, club rugby to super rugby and now it's sort of on the international stage if he, you know, continues to perform. Okay, we're going to so, let you have the last... We're going to let the boss have the last yeah, word. Yeah. Uh, you want to send a message down the barrel to the friends and family watching on back in Manly and McCartan will pick up on the other side. Oh, uh, you know, I've had a lot of messages this week and I, I appreciate it. Um, you know, anyone that's sort of been part of my journey um, knows sort of how hard I've worked to get here. But, you know, without my family, without my close people that have um, sort of guided me through my career, I definitely wouldn't have this moment. Um, so I appreciate all of you that have, um, you know, given me the time of day, and I never forget that, um, even from the outset of my career. So, yeah, thank you for essentially giving me this moment. Uh, good on you, Dave. Well said, well said. Well done, Shawnee. That is a special moment. To be able to share in that is an absolute privilege.